Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joe. This is Lifting with Style. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And today, I want to go over the common saying, always be the best dressed in the room. Now, if you go on any men's style blog or any YouTube channel about men's style, they're all going to say you should be the best dressed in the room. The premise with that is that if you're someone who's the best dressed in the room, then you're going to be seen as higher status, somebody who's interesting, that people want to get to know, that you put effort into your life. All those things are true, all right? If you do become the best dressed in the room, then people are going to bring attention towards you, all right? They're all going to want to know who you are and see you as interesting. The question though is, should you be the best dressed in the room? And the answer to that is yes and no. See, style is all about context. It's all about where you are and what situation you're in, okay? Just because you can be the best dressed in the room doesn't always necessarily mean you should be. So to give you four examples here, let's say you're going to a wedding. You need to look good when you go to a wedding, but do you need to be the best dressed in the room when you go to a wedding? Absolutely not. Because if you try to be the best dressed in the room, that means you're trying to be the best dressed over the groom. And if you're trying to be better dressed than the groom, you're just going to be seen as a giant tool. If you're going to an interview and you try to be the best dressed in the room, meaning you're going to try to be better dressed than the person who's interviewing you, they're going to see you as condescending and as a tool. And then they're probably not going to end up hiring you because you're putting in a little too much effort at the point. If you're going to a house party, do you need to look good for that? Sure. But if you try to be the absolute best dressed for that, yeah, in some parties it might work. In others, nobody's going to care. And if you go to a college party, nobody cares if you're the best dressed there. They only care about getting drunk and having fun. Nobody else cares. You should put in some effort, obviously. But if you try to be the best dressed, nobody's going to care. And the fourth example is, let's say you're a construction worker. You're not going to try and be the best dressed at a construction site. That's ridiculous. If you try to show up at a construction site in a $90 t-shirt and $300 jeans and $1,000 boots, designer boots and all that sort of stuff, your workers are going to laugh at you and they're going to think you're a colossal moron who doesn't even know what his job is. Right? Style is all about context. It's all about where you are. So yeah, there are times where you should be the best dressed in the room, but there's plenty of other times where you shouldn't be. To give you guys another example, this past February, I went to Atlanta, where I went to the Menfluential Conference. Right? This conference was hosted by Air Marino of Alpha M and Antonio Santino of Real Men, Real Style. At this conference, it was about entrepreneurship and men's style and a slew of other things. But what this conference also taught me was about context and about being the best dressed in the room. See, at this conference, every single guy who was there was dressed well. You could not be the best dressed in the room. because On the first day of the conference there, I showed up in the best suit that I have, but so did a hundred other guys. So I wasn't being the best dressed in the room. I was being as good dressed as everybody else. On the second day there, it was a bit more casual vibe, so people dressed more casually. I still wore a blazer and slacks, but it was still a little bit more on the casual side. But Aaron Marino from Alpha M there, on the first day he was wearing his suit, but on the second day he was much more casual. He was wearing a leather jacket with a black t-shirt and jeans. But having said that, he still was dressed well. He still looked good. And despite me being in a blazer and slacks, was I dressed better than him? No, not really. I was dressed well. He was dressed well. And the fact is that there's times where no matter what you do, you're not going to be the best dressed in the room. You're just not going to be, right? The point I'm trying to make here is that sometimes, yes, you should be the best dressed in the room. At other times, you're just not going to be able to. So instead of concentrating on being the best dressed in the room at all times, what you should do is concentrate on being the best dressed you at all times. All right, guys, that's what I have to say about context and being the best dressed in room. If you haven't subscribed already, again, please make sure you do. And I'll see you guys next time.